Hey friends, what's up? So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my coat, jacket, outerwear collection. Uh, I question how seasonally appropriate this video is because at least here in San Francisco, we're still kind of emerging from winter, even though the first day of spring was like yesterday, but it's not quite warming up here yet. I feel like that's the case for a lot of places, but I know some places are like almost getting ready for summer. So I feel like it's kind of a broad spectrum, but honestly, I really didn't want to wait like six months to film this video in the fall so you're getting it now and I hope it's helpful to like the good majority of you so I think we should just get started let's get into the video okay I think let's do the puffer first because this is honestly the jacket I'm wearing the most these days like on a day-to-day -day basis I'm gonna grab this one but it's because it is the perfect puffer like is this not everything you could possibly want in a puffer jacket I got it from Fabletics $30. $30. It would be like $100 at least at Urban Outfitters and Zara. $30. It's so cute. The shape is just so nice. It's the perfect crop. It's so like cozy and soft and I feel like a problem with a lot of uh, puffer jackets is that they can be kind of deflated but this one like it has kept its shape. I've had it for a few months now. I'm in love with it. If you're gonna get any jacket from this video get this one like $30 it's a no-brainer it's a no-brainer all right next I have this jacket from Urban Outfitters and I love this one I was on a really big corduroy kick in like the autumn autumn fall I've never said autumn in my life I am I had a really big corduroy kick in the fall and I got a couple corduroy jackets from there I love this one because it's not black but it's still neutral a lot of my jackets are black and I love that they go with everything but it just gets kind of boring and this one again goes with everything and I love that it's corduroy because it adds like a little bit more interest a little bit of texture you know I'm a fan I love this one not as good a deal as the $30 puffer like this one was like closer to $100 but still really cute honestly worth it I've worn it a million times all right this next jacket I really love honestly it's more of a jacket it's corduroy part of my corduroy kick that I had last fall from Urban Outfitters I love the little tortoise shell buttons it just it feels like a fall jacket like I did wear this to a pumpkin patch and I just feel like it's really cute I love the cut of it I feel like it's a little boxy but in a flattering way I think just because it's like cropped right but I really like this one. Is this not a jacket you would wear to the pumpkin patch as well? Like, this screams fall. Love it. Okay, an attempt to make this somewhat organized. Here's another jacket. This one is olive green. It's from Brandy Melville. It's cropped and has this hood in the back. I feel like it's like the updated version of that 2014 olive green utility jacket that everyone had. Like, it definitely gives me those vibes. But just a little bit more updated okay this jacket I got from forever 21 a few years ago I want to say like 2018 and this style was really popular then it's a lot more long line than a lot of my jackets are it comes like mid butt and really warm really cute like I said I've had it for years and it's forever 21 so I'm really surprised by the quality of this the only thing is this it is so infuriating to be walking around with like clanging behind you every single second. And I've never seen someone wear this jacket with like the buckle, buckle. I've never seen that. So why, it's just decoration. Why did we have to make it annoying? Yeah, no, this part, not it. Rest of the jacket, cute. Okay, here's the same style of jacket, but it's in this camel color. This one is suede and it has like this kind of teddy material going on. I am not really a fan of this one anymore. I don't wear it really that much. I think it just reminds me too much of the IMG jacket that everyone had in 2018. That was like this teddy material, but it was like the whole thing. Do you remember that one? But I feel like it reminds me of it too much. And I just feel like the moment has passed for like the camel teddy. I think we've moved on. This might be one I'm gonna get rid of soon, but still really warm, still really cute. The only thing, again, not that one, this one, annoying okay we're back in like the miscellaneous category this one is this faux leather very long line coat from backyard roses that i love it just it makes me feel like such an adult it's so cute it's also really cute buttoned up and like cinched come on 
come on. It's so cute. I love it. Very flattering. On the more expensive side, not gonna lie, but like really good quality. It's honestly worth it. Faux leather can look so cheap sometimes and this like give you a close up. It looks so good. You need this jacket. Trust me. You need this jacket. All right, this jacket I think is my most colorful, but also just my most fun. I just think it's so cool and really unlike anything else I have. Like, it's this really pretty mauve color, very shiny, reflective, silky material. It has really pretty stitching on it. Like, the pockets look like little seashells. I just, I think it's so cool. I got it thrifting, but it's originally from Urban Outfitters, and it's just so unlike any other jacket I've seen. I had to get it. I also just love this color, but such a cool jacket this is a statement piece like you form the rest of your outfit around the jacket all right this next jacket is just a classic moto jacket I've had it for years it's from forever 21 actually in this kind of like faux suede material which I really like I also have a leather jacket that I'm gonna show you guys but I just I don't know something about leather I don't know if I pull it off this is just a little bit more wearable to me on me but I really like this one. It's really flattering, a really good cut. The perfect going out jacket, honestly. All right, here's the leather one that I just mentioned. This one's from Boohoo, and again, very similar style, like the Moto style, and again, very flattering. But I don't know, like, the leather just feels really aggressive to me. Like, I feel like my personality doesn't match the jacket, but really cute. I like this one a lot. I pretty much exclusively wear this one when I'm going out. The other one I wear to, like, dinner, just, like, on a normal day-to-day -day basis, but this one, like, for when I'm going out and feeling bold, you know? Okay, this next jacket is like less of a jacket, more of a blanket. It's that Urban Outfitters one that everyone got a couple years ago, but I just got it this month on sale. So it was $80 a couple years ago when everyone wanted it. Now it's $30, so I got it. And honestly, I don't even wear it outside of the house. It's pretty much just a robe for me. Like, this, this is the state I'm usually wearing this jacket. Like, it is not a going out jacket. It is purely like wear around the house, cozy, keeps me warm. However, you know two years ago, I got a dupe from Ross. <laughs> this is literally like the same thing. Not as like long and like big and oversized. So it's not like a blanket. This feel is a lot more like wearable for outside for me personally, but it's still very soft, very cozy. I love the mauve color. This was a great dupe. I have no regrets in buying it. Two years ago, came in clutch. I don't wear it as much anymore because I got that one, but still also really cozy. I also feel like I just am more likely to wear this out because it's not so like big and like looks like I'm wearing a blanket. It like looks more like a jacket to me. All right, we're getting into my denim jackets. I have four of these and it's probably the last like category. But up first we have this very simple kind of fitted black denim jacket from Abercrombie. Pretty simple, it's not distressed or anything, it's just very classic, and this is definitely the only one that I have that's more fitted. I wear this mostly when going out. I feel like I lean more towards fitted jackets, like when I'm going out at night and more oversized during the day. So this is definitely one that I would wear like to a bar or something. All right, very similarly, I have another black denim jacket. This one is like a little bit distressed, but like not that visible, like a little bit. But this one is clearly a lot more oversized. I love this one. It's one I wear on like a daily basis. Like I said, oversized, I use more during the day. But I got this one while thrifting in Chicago and it's just the most versatile jacket. I wear it all the time. I wore it in my last video if you guys saw that. And I really like the oversized look. I feel like it's very casual, very chill. So this one. All right, continuing on with the denim. This one is a blue denim jacket. It's from Herschel. It is actually a men's small, but I feel like it fits me in like a cool oversized kind of way. It's a bomber jacket, so it's like a little different than just like your classic denim jacket, or at least I tell myself to justify spending the money on this. But I feel like it's just, it's fun. It's cool. I like the bomber style look, and I like that it's like oversized. It's like wearing your boyfriend's jacket, but it's my jacket. <laughs> But I just think it's really fun, cool, relaxed fit. Yeah, alright. I'm like losing steam here. 
All right, and last for denim jackets, this is my just like more classic one. It's a light wash. It's from Forever 21, but it's a little bit distressed. I really like how cropped it is, like not too cropped. It like hits you at a good point. I feel like it is a light wash. It's just a lot easier to wear and pair with a lot of things. So this is very versatile. I wear it a lot. Classic denim. Again, losing steam. Don't know what to say. All right, this next jacket isn't exactly like a stylish jacket or one I would necessarily wear like a fit with. Like this is definitely more like running errands or just like maybe going to the gym and I want to be a little bit more cozy. But this is a Uniqlo jacket. It's like their classic like little fuzzy ones. They're really big here in San Francisco. Like I feel like everyone has at least one. But I really like it. It's just very chill. Again, wouldn't wear it with this outfit. Like probably some leggings and a t-shirt is more what I would wear it with. But part of the collection so all right this is the last one this is my gym jacket it's a very thin windbreaker I got from forever 21 like years ago like my freshman year of college so 2016 I've had it this whole time but I think it's really cute it has like this black and white floral detailing on the hood and like the shoulders really easy perfect gym jacket it's the last one and we're done with my whole jacket collection but that's gonna be it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful to a good majority of you. If you are one of those people that are entering your warmer months though, this is a great time to buy a jacket because they're all gonna be on sale, just not being what people are trying to buy right now. So hopefully if anything, this video is helpful to you in that sense. But if not, check back here in like six months when fall starts, it'll still be here. But if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment to let me know. Let me know which one was your favorite jacket. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I make new videos every single week and you can head to my channel to watch some more and if you haven't hit my post notification bell go ahead and hit that it gives you a notification every single time I post so you never miss any content from me but that is going to be it I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you in my next video bye